The other day when I took my Excalibur down to Gurry, I let him use it. Since his was in the shop, if you remember that. Well, these are my uh, headphones for my Excalibur. I have two sets. I have the original yellow ones that came with it with a plug on them so I can plug it into the back of my Excalibur. And these are my uh, Mr. Gold phones that Phil made for me in New York. Well, right there where the wire goes into the back of the plug, since this comes out of the back of the Excalibur, sometimes when I stick it in my truck, it hits the very back end of the wire right there. Where it comes out of here. And it's just after, I guess, two years, it's cracked a little wire right where it came out. So I'm fixing it. It broke right there, actually where it broke at. I got a piece laying around here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I don't know where it is. But anyway, I, I've just fixed it. I'm getting ready to screw these pieces back in. Into here. They screw in here. Actually, they slide in right there. And they have two little set screws right there. Now hold them in place. And you screw those down into there. Well, some people solder them. I solder them on my coal, on my uh, coal wire, but I don't do it on the headphones. The only one set I've ever done. I just screw them down tight. But I do solder the ends like Phil did, and screwed screwed a little set screw down on that. Seem very clear. Stand by. Me. Well, there's some little set screws. You can see them better now. Must have some cloud dust on it or something. Anyway, when I get it all together, I'll show you. Not that most of y'all don't already know, but not hard to do. Stand by. You need some of this. This is a little tube that came with my CZ21 when I first had one. I mean, when I did have one. You got two or three packs of this that came with it. You need to put this right on the end of the wire once you get them in there. Now this O-ring, if I can get the light right, since it's raining outside and not very pretty and I might not be able to go detecting the dig, O-ring goes right along here, right? Seals the two cases together. You need to put some silicone in that O-ring, around that O-ring when it slides in there. Now you know the Excalibur plug has two screws, a long screw and a short screw. The short screw does not come through the case. The long screw comes all the way through the plug so you can line it up with the hole that's in the, uh, the battery or the headphone plug. For those of you who have headphone plugs, it's just like the battery plug. And so that you know which one plug is, when I take them on, before I took it apart, I put a stripe, a slice across the top of it. You can, hope you can see it. That lines the long pin at the top that goes through, comes out on the end right here. That way I know which one went where. And I know that the the copper wire, the one I'll put the black thing on the ground, that goes to the left hand plug facing this way. Ground wire goes on the left. White wire goes on the right. That's how Mr. Goldmaster Phil had him wired up because he, he built these for me. I, all I did was send in the plug and the wire. Anyway, uh, I'm going to put it back together here in a second. And I won't be able to test it. Of course, Kenny's got my Excalibur with the yellow phone, but... I might ride up there later today or tomorrow since I'm not going to, I don't know. I'll just have to see how it goes. You can see outside it's goddamn black and raining right now. <laughs> I don't like it. There we go.
we're all fixed up. We just got to be able to stick it on the Excalibur and check it out. The only thing could be wrong, the wires could be in the wrong place, but I put them back just like they came, so I ain't really worried about that. In business. Okay. Look at it now. God. No detecting in the day. All the time, it's not low till six. I and mean, we even got thunder and lightning. You can't see it, but it's here. Not much of it. I might be able to go this afternoon, but it looks very bleak now. We'll have to see how it goes.